Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back office. This is sent in by my good friend Billy Sarsted, and um, as I understand it, you might not be in the best of health, so he didn't want this calculator, and that's because his calculator is an electric shock calculator. Um, very interesting. I'm holding it quite gingerly, as you can tell, because I can see these are the shocking uh, panels. And uh, recently I had to go fixing one of the items he sent me, and I really broke it. Um, so I've been uh, off the calculator fixing wagon, but I decided I need to sort of start getting back into it and not being afraid of these devices. Uh, I think this device was actually one that he was giving to me anyway, um, as opposed to just having me repair. Um, so I think I think I got that right. If not, he can uh, tweet me and say, no, I want that amazing quality back. Uh, in terms of the amazing quality, it's amazingly bad. Look at this, this plastic's actually warped. The battery door is half falling out. Ooh, and he, it was armed. It is armed, actually. I could have got a shock off that. Hmm, <laughs> I'm scared. Ah, so these buttons don't do anything. They're just there doing nothing and <sighs> ah! Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, and that was a genuine. Um, I thought it really wasn't doing anything, but that did give me a belt. It gave me a belt through that finger, so that finger kind of went, ah, totally um, freaked out. Um, yeah, that's a bit of a nasty, a nasty thing. So let's have a look what it says, though. It's got this angry guy here who's who's looking very angry and he's saying ha 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 shock explosion uh, lightning bolts sad onion zero to three China export logo there recycle but the warning's interesting use at your O risk O W it does say O O use at your O risk O no risk own risk not recommended for children under 14 years old adults over 40 years old or persons under any medical conditions and on the back there's just nothing um I, I don't I don't know I unfortunately I don't qualify for any of those things so I was the uh, target for this device <laughs> I'm trying to think of a scenario where you could just use this like leave it leave it somewhere but it's kind of I kind of think you're only going to annoy someone. You either run the risk of annoying a colleague or killing a colleague. So either of those isn't really a good outcome for you. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just I'm I'm just kind of breaking it just to kind of get it apart. It's the screw heads are all worn out, so they they seem to be pulling through the plastic quite nicely though, which means you can probably extract them from the top and then replace them. So I can confirm thus far though, and I'll just shake out any parts that want to go, that there is no LCD technology in it. So it'd be a shame. I, I kind of like the idea if it had some redeeming feature and that you could use it as a calculator, like it did have a legit calculator in it, but it doesn't. I'm just looking through my various screwdriver bits just to see if there's something that might just bite enough. Sometimes a slot head might just bite enough. Yes! So the slot head's biting enough there. So I could have used the slot head on the sticky one, but that's okay, we can use that to drive it back. So the reason I'm uh, taking a little bit more of an interest in this is, one, we can have a look at how it's put together, because that could be a bit of fun. But two, I'm just curious to see if it's like a legitimate regular calculator. So. It has this kind of fake membrane. It's a really hard fake membrane in it. I, that's definitely never been used on a real calculator production line. It's far too too sticky. It, it could have been made from some old tooling. Um, interestingly, this... Hmm, it's got definitely a, a sort of rebate in there so that it does have a kind of LCD effect. It doesn't look like a sticker. It does look like you could have had an LCD screen in there. So this this may well have been um, an original calculator body. I mean, that's definitely designed to take a, an AA cell or a AAA rather. Um, I'm just going to try to get these screws out while I'm here. 
being very cautious not to touch the power button. That's the one, and that's the two. So you could use this design to make a James Bond force feedback type thing that electrocutes the player of the game. <laughs> and there's this kind of odd looking thing in here. It's, it does look, if you look in here though, it's like some sort of wire channel for a flexi. There's definitely some channel there and grippy channel for flexi. So it does potentially feel like it would have had uh, capability for uh, a, a genuine calculator body. And so this switch is only using a couple of pins that technically if I short that it might just turn on and that would make me very uncomfortable. So let's have a look see what we do. So when you push this it's energizing the circuit which is obviously energizing this coil. That bit's the no-brainer and then you are getting uh, these bits here, these tabs, which are going to these metal sides, are forming the ground between your hands. So you have to kind of hold it like that. That's my guess. That's my best guess. Let's, let's, have, uh, let's just take the batteries out, I think. Let's better safe than sorry on that one. Thank you very much. So if we undo this tab here, we'll be able to get the coil out and then we'll be able to see what the actual drive of this circuit is and then you can replicate that and make your own and get up to all sorts of high jinks. So it's a coil and it's attached to a PCB with a little blob on it and that's pretty much all you got all you got going there. So what I would think that coil is doing it's probably got an oscillator and it's just turning that on and off very quickly so it's charging and discharging the coil and it's doing it rapidly enough to give one some discomfort. So what I'm gonna to try to do, I've got a bench oscilloscope next to me, and I'm hoping this won't kill it, but we'll try hooking it up and see what we get. And just having a look to see if there's any maximum. So it's a maximum of 300 volts on there. And it was a several thousand pounds oscilloscope, I believe, or at least definitely in the over a thousand pounds range. So it would be nice for it not to be taken out by this. But let's have a look. And if there's anything good, I will uh, turn the camera onto the screen and let you know. So this is kind of like the danger zone. Get that on there. Oop. Maybe we can just hook that on something there. And we'll hook that on there. Yeah. We are hooked. In fact, I will turn the camera, why not? Excuse the bump and the dink and the donk as I take it out of the stand, but I'm gonna hold it in my hands too, ghetto style. So there's the scope. And we can see we're on nothing and it's basically set to two volts per indicated thingy. It definitely freaks out when I'm uh, pushing the button there. So that's 18 volts per indication. And that's the pulse. So when you're pushing it, and we'll go to, uh, oh sorry, it's 10 volts. Let's leave it on 20 volt range and we'll put it down, there we go. And I'm seeing, even seeing there's even higher pulses there. Woo, okay, so that's our line. And each one of these cubes shows you 50 volts, basically. So when we push the button, Ooh, we're getting a big negative. Yeah. <laughs> it's really hard to do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold that there. You can see me pushing the button and I'm going to actually just push the auto set button while I've got this pressed. And 
and it turns out it seems that my scope just it can't figure out what to do with this thing it really can't I'm guessing that's because it's just an irregular signal and I'll have to play with the scope a bit more either way though if you ignore those very long peaks which could be crazy volts it looks like you've got at least like a hundred volts plus and minus there so that's uh, interesting I don't know I'm not sure how to read this really what we need to do I'm gonna have to work that out and yes we've got a times 10 attenuator on there but I think the scope's all calibrated for that so yeah interesting interesting in itself definitely deadly you know you don't want to mess with it I, I kind of would feel bad now leaving this somewhere potentially for someone to sort of zap themselves with though I'm not sure what I'll do with this um, maybe I'll sell it as uh, some sort of accountants um, some sort of accountant assassin tool um, like the place where Deadpool would go um, and I could sell it in that sort of Assassin's Guild, Deadpool style Assassin's Guild and uh, yeah let them get on with it. I really do need to work out how to measure that. Actually I'm just looking next to me I've got my little multimeter we might just have one last go and we won't forget the, forget the scope we'll just use the multimeter because that will be probably better at basically working out an RMS value if we'd set it to AC and uh, then we'll get a bit of a feel for it there's the battery door it's so weird it's so awful a fit I've never seen plastics this cheap I think it's this is definitely made out of old uh, Hewlett Packard computer faciers or something right so here's our meter we're going to put it on AC. I'm going to put one, see how we can do this. So I'm going to put one set of probes on one side, one on the other. So, yep, we're on now. I'm going to push the button. It's weird, it's only showing like 2.4 volts. Um, so, I just don't know. I mean, we know there's probably not too much current behind it, otherwise uh, it would be deadly. See it in DC, if we go DC. So what do you want? It's only measuring one volt. Why is it shocking you? Hope that's uh, been of some interest to you. I'm going to put it away now. I'm too scared to deal with this right now. And uh, I'm going to move on and do some other tinkering. So if you want a shocking experience, I'm almost <laughs> defeating you. You get one of these shock calculators and you're going to be, uh, you'll find it. Uh, oh, I was going to say a shocking experience, but I already said that. As ever, thanks for watching.